Welcome to this follow-up screencast on using Ground.org and multi-channel audio output. I will make a few clarifications. In the audio output tab, you add the channels you have available on the device and activated for use. Uh, for instance, I have as you can see here, a four channel output. So I must have four channels also on the device. So we add the three and four. One and two uh, are, <coughs> are the front speakers and three and four the rear speakers. And next I will create a few audio groups. <coughs> the groups are on the one hand connected to the rank stops pipes and on the other hand it's um, distributed among the channels. And it's good to have some kind of logical names for it. It will ease your life. So I will call the first group, the rear speakers. Though remember that uh, of course you can have the speakers positioned in any way you like. Not a normal home theater version of course. And I will add a group that is called the all speakers. And we will have a left and a right. <coughs> so this grouping doesn't really mean <coughs> anything until it's connected to the channels. So here we will add the rear speakers, left and right, the th three and four and we will add <coughs> sorry <coughs> the left speakers to channel one and three and we will reverse the order actually so we will put the left speakers right on channel one front and left speakers left on channel 3. And then we add the right speakers left to 2 and the right speakers right to the 4. And for the all channels we will add the left to 1 and 3. And all speakers right to 2 and 4. <coughs> so we can have the same same entry appearing uh, many times here with different settings really. Uh, for instance you can have a bass group that uh, will connect to a subwoofer channel and for instance some other channels too. Uh, in this case I will show you how to lower the volume. We set the front speakers of the all speakers group to minus two. and the rear speakers to minus three. So now we are finished here. So we click OK and load the sample set. And your route set the audio groups 
in the organ settings and now you have the possibility to multi-select um, entries in the tree uh, for instance like this all the pedal stops I'll put in the all speakers group and click apply and then you can see that they really are in the all speakers group and in the same way we can select all the stops of the swell and put them on the rear speakers and you see that they are in the rear speakers the pedals in the all and we can put um, for instance like this the gedact into the left speakers group and the cr oh yeah you hit apply always before going on to the next and chrome horn in the right and for instance the couple plate all but it's not just the ranks you can um, route um, you can expand a name to access the individual pipes and for instance like this you can um, select every other pipe in the bass octave and put them in the left speakers group yeah always remember apply and select every other pipe and put it in the right speakers group and uh, the tenor octave you can put in the all speakers so from middle C you will have none that is the default group and in the tenor you will have all speakers and then it will alternate in the great octave uh, this won't be hear heard on the recording so I won't really play anything but you can play with it yourself and have fun it's your imagination that is the limit thanks for watching